Hello everyone. Today we will solve the problem maximum score after applying operations on a tree from weekly contest 370. So I felt this problem was very uh, tough to understand but I will try my best to explain in a best possible way. So for better experience you can switch the playback speed. So first we will understand the question and then we will then we will see the intuition then we will go for the high level of the coding part so like if you get the intuition if you understand the question clearly and if you get the intuition you can code this problem very easily uh, so first let's understand the problem there is an undirected tree with n nodes labeled from 0 to n minus 1 and rooted at node 0 it's saying that rooted at node 0 you are given a 2d integer array edges of length n minus 1 where edges of i is ai bi indicates that there is an edge between nodes ai and bi so he is saying that there are two nodes a b and there is an edge between them you are also given zero indexed array values of length n and value of i is the value associated with the ith node so v of a and v of b he is saying that he has given some value so there is a value associated with this edges so we should pick any node i we can pick any node i add value to your score set values to zero huh? and a tree is healthy if some of the values on the path from root to any leaf node is different than zero okay this was the pretty tough to understand these statements but i will try to explain with an uh, input so first this is my input this is my input you can draw this and you can get this now is saying that pick any node i add value to your score so i am picking so he is saying that here he picked 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. These are all zeros. So he picked and that will become 0. So that way that has become 0. And a tree is healthy if some of the values on the path from root to any leaf node is different than 0. From root to leaf node it should be non-zero. If you see here this is my 5 till here the sum will be 5 if you come down till the leaf node it is 5 from 5 till here it is 5 so we can say that if you remove all these nodes if you remove all these nodes from the tree and add it to uh, add it to our score then also my uh, tree is healthy tree healthy tree we need to return the maximum score so we need to return the maximum score. if you observe here uh, we can think like 2 if it is 2 is there so I will keep 2 here I will keep 2 so th there can be another possibility suppose we have 0 1 2 3 4 and we have 5 and we have this is as 5 2 5 2 1 1 instead of this 5 instead of this 5 can I take this 2 and consider this as 2 consider this this as 2 instead of this 5 can I take this 2 2 and 2 yes you can take right if you take uh, if, if I want to take this 5 into my answer uh, all this all these twos need to be there at the leaf nodes so if I all these two should be at leaf node then my modification will be 0 1 2 3 4 5 and and my answer here 2 here 2 and here 2 so i am considering 0 2 and 4 here my answer will be 11 here my answer will be 11 so you can make leaf nodes uh, not equals to 0 or you can make any other nodes any other node. so i think you understood this first let's see the second example so this is my this is my exam uh, so this is my tree so i have, uh, I have drawn it now if you see he has taken here 0 2 3 4 0 2 3 4 at index 0 at index 2 at index 3 at index 4 0 2 3 4 he is making it 0 he is making it 0 if you see from root to leaf node here my answer will be 10 10 here it will be 5 here it will be 3 and here it will be 5 so my answer is 40 so here I have removed this 20 20 plus at index 2 I have 9 at index 3 I have 7 at index 4 I have 4 if you sum all this I will get answer as 40 this is my answer 
this can be your answer or else i can i can make it like this if i have a uh, 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 6 i will make all the leaf nodes all the leaf nodes to be stay there 7 4 3 5 and i will make it, this as 0 0 0 this can also be possible because from root to leaf node my answer is 7 4 3 and 5 but if you see the sum 0 1 2 if you see the sum 20 30 and 39 here i am getting answer as 39 so which is maximum 40 is maximum so i will take 40 so i will take 40 i think you understood the uh, understood the problem statement so i think you understood it so i tried my best uh, sometimes i may go wrong and i am sorry for that but uh, i felt this was a pretty tough question to explain and to show the examples so if you did not understood till here i recommend you to please rewatch from this input so from this input and then you can come to this input you will rewatch it you can definitely understand it so you got it uh, now let's see so what we will do we will calculate the minimum and we will subtract it from the total so we will calculate the minimum from this tree we will try to calculate the minimum so we will subtract from the total so if you see here here my minimum is 10 3 5 5 so if you calculate here my total sum is uh, so i have calculated somewhere here so here my total sum is 58 58 minus minus i will i will subtract which has the minimum minimum of minimum of if i add all this 10 plus 3 plus 5 it is 18 comma here if i add 7 plus 3 it is 11 11 plus 19 it is 20 which 20 let's calculate 8 7 plus 4 it is 11 5 plus 3 it is 8 it is 19 sorry it is 19 now if you see minimum of this is 18 so from 58 we are subtracting 18 so our main intention is to find the minimum then we will subtract it from the total so how we will calculate the minimum so how we will calculate the minimum so if you see the recursive function if you see this is my uh, this is my answer so if you see the recursive function we will calculate all the, now here we have 5 plus 3 8 8 we will return it we will return it. here we will check 9 comma 8 which is minimum which is minimum here 8 is a minimum so i am returning 8 i am returning it here i will check 7 plus 4 it is 11 at this position minimum of 11 comma 10 which is minimum 10 is minimum 10 we are sending it so here we got the answer as 18 then we are subtracting from the total total i think you understood it so for every node for every parent we will calculate the sum of child nodes and then we will check with this minimum minimum of parent comma parent comma sum of nodes sum of child nodes sum of the values of child nodes so if you see this this will be my recursive function s is equals to s plus dfs of child dfs of child let pay parent node and then we will return minimum if i am considering the parent if i am considering the parent we will return the parent or if you are considering the sum either b plus c plus d it can be like this and d can be d can come from here as well e f g from this it can come d can be have minimum of v of d comma all this e plus f plus g and from here also g can have anything from here also it can come minimum so from here we are returning only the minimum value so we are returning the parent comma s so what will be my base condition if number of child nodes are zero or or and a node should not be equals to zero suppose if you have zero and one zero and one if you send the recursive function if it is directly getting zero here if you see in adjacency list we will check the number of nodes if the number of nodes are one then definitely it is a child node it is a child node but if you have like this at zero we are starting at zero will be my child node so we will directly return the zero answer so that will be Uh, that should not be the scenario. It should come to one. So we will check for the only node. Node node is not equal to zero. So this. Uh, so we will understand the high level of the coding part. I think you understood this recursive relation and this uh, all the all the tree structures. It is simple. It is simple, guys. A B C D. I will repeat it. A D E F G. 
ईयर फॉर जी आई जे के एवरी टाइम वी विल कैलकुलेट द मिनिमम एंड वी विल रिटर्न एट एवरी टाइम वी विल कैलकुलेट द मिनिमम एंड रिटर्न दैट्स इट एवरी टाइम मिनिमम सो इफ यू सी द कोड फर्स्ट वी आर कैलकुलेटिंग द सम दिस विल बी माई सम देन डी एफ एस आई एम कॉलिंग सो इट द बेस सिनारियो इट्स द साइज इज वन देन डेफिनेटली इट इज ए लिफ नोड ए बी then definitely it is my leaf node and i should not be equals to 0 at 0 we are starting so it should not be equals to 0 so he has given long long so we have taken an all as long long we have type casting it so long long is equals to 0 we will j we will iterate to iterate to every index uh, so here we have kept, uh, kept like for 1 we have kept 2 3 for 3 we have kept 4 5 like this we have all the adjacency list we have pushed back it into the edges so i am thinking like you know how to build a tree and everything then only i am i am explaining it so if you have, if you don't know about that you can watch you can go to geek for geeks and you can see like how we can build a tree using adjacency list then you can come back so here we are using visited we are making it visited if visited if it already visited we are making it as continue and this is equals to s plus dfs of dfs of we are going for the child nodes we are coming for the child nodes and then we are returning the minimum then we are returning the minimum so here we got the k as a minimum then we are returning s minus k s minus so the what will be my time complexity every time here we are using visited so every time we will visit the node once so it will be order of e n so my nodes are there that many and my space will be same order of n because we are using adjacency list n plus and for everything we have e right n into e my space will be n into e for every edges so i think you understood this solution if you understand this solution please please do like and subscribe i have tried my best and you may not understand this if you if you could not able to understand this solution you can go uh, to the editorial part and and thank you for watch and thank you guys for watching the video